Welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Tracy Kubix. If you enjoy the beauty of art, nature, and live music, you don't want to miss the Dismal Swamp Art Festival on Saturday, October 24th. Here to tell us all about the festival is Catherine Pollard and Scott Matheson. Hi, welcome to the show. Thanks Thank so much you for being having here. us. Thank you. So this is the first year for the festival. It's very exciting. So tell us, how did you come up with the idea of a festival in the Dismal Swamp? Okay, I think I'll take this first question. Um, it, it happened because, you know, we, we really enjoy going out to the Dismal Swamp Canal Trail, biking, running, walking, and so forth. And I'm a history buff. And so I kept talking uh, quite a bit about all the things and the importance of the history of the Dismal Swamp, including, you know, from George Washington through the Civil War, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, and so forth. So. Uh, I think she just said, okay, all right, I get it. I get, I get the history. It's a wonderful place. It's a beautiful place. And she's also an artist. So she said, well, you know, why not an art show here? It's a, it's a, it's a natural venue for an art show. And so I think that was the impetus for getting this going. Okay, great. And speaking of art, you're going to have a lot of local artists there, and you brought some pieces with you today. Yes, we did. Uh, this piece, both of these pieces were done by... Um, uh, Casey's uh, uncle, Newt Miller, uh, Dr. Miller. They're beautiful. And they're carvings. They're wood carvings. Um, this happens to be a copperhead snake. Um, and he has other snakes in the area uh, that are local to the area that, that will be at the art show. And he's also recently done this work here. Uh, dolphins kind of uh, in, the, in the water. So it, it, it kind of, uh, it, it's got two adult dolphins and, and two juvenile dolphins. But... Uh, our, uh, Newt will be there, and uh, he's going to take all of his works with him, Great. and you're going to see uh, this, this little guy's friends as well okay. will be there. So people can buy the art, meet and greet the artists? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It's a great, great time for them to talk to them, see what they do, see a lot of them actually in action. We're going to have uh, the wood um, turners of Tidewater wood turners. They're actually turning wood, okay. glass blowing. Uh, Great. Yeah. That's awesome. Fun to watch. And, and the, the main thing, Tracy, is it's we're looking, it, it's going to be fine art. Mm -hmm. And we wanted this to be a high level, the core of this event to be a high level art show and a festival. But then have all the other things that fit the venue, the fall fair. We're going to have plenty of uh, good food there. That's right. Can't uh, have a festival without the food. That's right. <laughs> and, and then also the community, the broad-based community aspect of it, mm -hmm. the, the kids and the family. The YMCA is doing a, a costume run, for example, in the morning. So uh, the, and there, there's going to be live music there. We're going to have mm -hmm. a, a, a band there, a local favorite band that's going to be playing as well. Okay. And uh, Crap Bruce. Yeah. So. The microbrews are so popular the right now, so that would be great. Popular. Yes, That's they right. are. Absolutely. Okay. Now, there's a lot of mystery around the Dismal Swamp, a little legend. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, the, the Mysteries of the Mist is the theme this year, and that kind of was sparked by uh, Edgar Allan Poe, who it's reputed that he wrote The Raven on the shores of Lake Drummond. He was inspired mm -hmm. by the surroundings uh, uh, and the environment of the Dismal Swamp. That's fascinating. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so again, it's part of that, that incredible history that Chesapeake offers. Mm -hmm. And so much, a lot of it happened right there at the Dismal Swamp in, in, in that general vicinity. So okay. we really want to highlight that. Right, very nice. During the art show. Okay. This is also very kid-friendly, family-friendly. So you have oh, kid absolutely. activities. Absolutely. Yes. The, the art area, our art area for the children, we're going to use natural leaves, pine straw, and, and things like that to mm -hmm. paint for the children to paint on huge canvases okay. with and kind of discover their their ability at the same time that the parents are enjoying the other art. Right, how fun. Okay. We have about a minute left. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite part about all this? You want to take that first? Uh, I, I'm so excited that the closer it becomes to see how excited the people are of, of Chesapeake and beyond that are going to be joining us and uh, hoping to see this event really grow some legs for Chesapeake, North Carolina, other parts of Virginia and become a, a huge event. Right. Yeah, we, great. We, we both want this to be something that people look forward to every year mm -hmm. and it has something for everybody. 
It and, does, and, all and ages. It, yeah, to, to and old. it really has a great beneficial positive impact on, mm -hmm. on the people, but also the community and the region, and we hope this becomes something really, really big for the Mid-Atlantic and beyond. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank we look you. Thanks for to having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on out. We will. <laughs> for more information about the festival, you can like them on Facebook or check out their website at dismalswampart.com. Thanks for watching Hot Ticket. I'm Tracy Cubics.